All right, so here I have in this blender bottle some beetroot, carrots, kale, ginger, cucumber, and some water. I'm going to blend and sieve this. So basically, I'm making some juice, some beetroot juice. Yeah, so this is actually my first time trying this fruit or vegetable i don't even know what to classify it as but i've seen a lot of people you know use this to make amazing stuff the one that fascinated me the most was this juice of a thing i wanted to try it out for myself you know see or feel what it tastes like and how it smells now before i blended this with the other ingredients i added in the blender i actually tested it on its own i smelled and tasted it on its own and i didn't really like the smell and the taste i'm like ah are you sure i can do this but then again i remembered that i spent some money to buy this because this thing is not really that cheap and it's not too costly either but it's somewhere in between <laughs> I don't know how to explain it but yeah i remember the money and the health benefits of beetroot if you don't know the health benefits of beetroot you should google it and see all the good stuff that this thing carries it's small but mighty okay so i'm like okay i have to give it a shot you know there's no harm in trying in some situations though <laughs> so i drank this as a juice and it's not that bad i gave it a three out of five stars just because of the taste and the smell okay but other than that it's fabulous amazing and just know that by the time you're watching this video i had already drank this for like four to five times and i feel so good Mommy, this one. Wait, that big one. Put it here. Okay. Then the two. No, take the other two and put it there where the green spoon is. Uh -huh. Brava. Good job. This black one here. Okay. The big spoon there. Yup. It's a bit long. Put it here. Then put it there. Wait. Knife. No. Where there is scissors. See the green scissors. Man, good job. Fuck. Put it in the fork session. Yes. And finally. It's scissors. Yes. Good job. Clap for yourself. And close it up. High five, Mama. Come. Help is, is good. It's good to help. It's good to help. Yes, it's good to help. Brava. It's good to help people to take spoon. It's good to help people, right? Yes. Oh, high five. Good job. I love that. I love that you know that it's good to help people. Bravissima. And Thank and you so much. Bravissima. Bravissima. Sorry, see what I'm saying. Yeah. She has not even started, though, but she's already correcting me. As a mom of four, one of the things I'm diligently doing with my kids is engage them with some household chores, the ones appropriate for their ages, because I can't do it all. So I teach them to do stuff around the house. And I guess that's why Miss Blessing has you know suddenly developed this habit of always wanting to help she wants to do this she wants to do that and so are my other kids as well so it's good to teach them even whilst they are still very young see another example in the next clip guys see what i got my kids doing like are you kidding me they just brought out all the clothes in the under the bed and now they are arranging them like okay yesterday i saw them arranging their wardrobe they were just 
<laughs> bringing everything out and rearranging them, sweeping. This one was rearranging. This one was sweeping. And this morning again, they have started. I don't even know what to say. I wanted to talk, but <laughs> on a second thought, I'm like, okay, they are not doing anything bad, you know. They are helping me. <laughs> Because I know this place was a bit rough and they are the ones that scattered it, obviously. But right now they are rearranging and I don't have any problem with that. Honestly, I wanted to talk, but I'm like, are they not helping you? Why would you want to talk? <laughs> this is nice. See, it's just that when I'm looking for something now, I'll not be able to find it because they have rearranged everything. The ones here before, I was the one that arranged them and I know where everything was. But now, it will be a bit hard to find stuff under this bed. See, see, all these jacka, hmm? they're supposed to be pushed down there, push the jackas down there. And then the light clothes should be up so I can be able to find them for easy access, please. Mm -hmm. Bravi, bravi. Well done, guys. Well done, okay? Mm -hmm. Do it well. I'm coming back to check on it, all right? Mm -hmm. And as a sweet mother that I am, I decided to bake some banana bread for my kids. Like you guys, my kids have been requesting for this for some time now. And I keep telling them, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> and after seeing them rearrange their wardrobe and under their bed, I'm like, what better way to reward these kids for what they have just done, if not to bake this banana bread today, even though I wasn't in the mood, but I had to do it just to say, Thank you guys. Continue the good work. I was actually very impressed. Like what? <laughs> and the outcome was actually very neat. So nice. Well rearranged. And ah, they really tried guys. Let's go and see. Are you guys done? Yes. 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 Let me see. Let me see. Wow. <laughs> Wow, you helped them. Oh my god, you are just in the mood to help today. Like, what? Brava. Okay. And I fold the clothes. You fold the clothes. Okay. And did you guys sweep? Of course, everywhere is shining. Close it. Close the bed. Whoa. Whoa, everywhere is shining. And the sun stood up to open the bed. Yes, Joshua has always been strong. I know he's strong. He's a strong boy. <laughs> wow, this is nice. Well done, guys. Well done. High five. High five. High five, Mama. Good job. I'm so proud of y'all. <laughs>
and that's it for the banana bread guys my kids really enjoyed it like they were so 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 happy i wish i had recorded their reaction but yeah they enjoyed it they loved it they were just thanking me for making this i don't get to make this very often but anytime i do they really enjoy it so thereafter i made some vegetables and egg noodles and here is my hobby's portion is currently at work but will soon be coming back so this is just me serving his dinner so that as soon as he comes back he will just dive into it you know and i'm also serving him with some of the banana bread and some beet juice yeah i made another one and this time around i added apples instead of carrots because i ran out of carrots and i think the one made with apples tastes better the first night i made it i used carrots and this time around i used apples and i think it tastes better and like i said before by the time you're watching this video just know that i had already taken this for up to five times or thereabouts and i feel very good and i'll definitely be buying more of beetroots anyways guys that's it for this vlog i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think in the comment section please like this video if you did enjoy it and i'll see you all in my next one god bless you all